All right, now it's time to learn some tools in MS Excel. So Excel is not just all about functions or formulas. It also has some tools that are pretty helpful when you need to process some data in your worksheet. So just to repeat that, let me repeat the step. So first, highlight A2 all the way down to your last data. Do not include data or cells that you do not intend to separate. Then go to data text to columns and then go for delimited because I have a comma separating my data next comma is already checked by default because I already previously did this so it's already checked next destination you don't want cell A2 to start where the values will appear so instead we want it to start here at this point of the worksheet click finish and you now have the last name and the first name separated into two columns. Now there's another way or another method as you, could, as you saw a while ago and that is fixed with. Now on the same file, I'll go to the next sheet and let's say here I want to separate the phone numbers into three columns, the first three, the second three, and the last four. So let's say 401. 5551246 So instead of doing it manually, you could use text to columns again. However, we cannot use delimited anymore because there are no characters or nothing separates our values. So instead, we'll start, let's go to data, text to columns, and instead we'll go for fixed width. Click next. And then on the second step of fixed width, you have to go to the data preview over here, put your mouse over the preview part, and manually put the division line yourself. You are going to use your mouse to indicate where the division or the separation will happen. So the first separation in my data would be the first three digits, and then the next one would be the second three digits. Note that if you commit a mistake at this point of the process, you could simply drag that line towards the correct point of your data. Or if it's a total mistake, then you could just double click that line away. So let me click that. And now you have it 401-555-1246. The next step is similar to the step of delimited. You have to identify at what point of the worksheet will the data start appearing. And that is none other than cell E2. You want the data to appear there. Click finish. And you now have the phone number separated into three columns as you indicated in the fixed width method. Again, you repeat that. First, you highlight your data. Go to data. Text to columns. And then fixed width because you don't have any separators. The next and then in the second step in the preview window you have to indicate manually yourself where the division will happen Click next destination cell e2 that's where I want the data to start appearing not here not here I want it here then click finish and mission accomplished demonstration here